In early 2020, the Hortasia Slide Fighter, piloted by Rear Admiral Jaydeep Malankar, successfully landed in the Indian Navy's INS Vikram Majitia aircraft carrier. This move is considered a successful step for India. The positive information about the Indian fighter made China special attention because this is an aircraft line that is said to be a direct competitor to China's J-10. The Chinese press said that the successful test of the Indian Navy's carrier-based Hantisa's version is a move that cannot be underestimated. LCA is a line material fighter that has been researched and developed by India. Equipped with new technologies that help teachers have formidable power in the sky, it is believed to be capable of confronting Pakistan JF-17s as well as Chinese J-10s. Teachers Light Fighter in India's Light Combat Aircraft Project has gone through more than three decades of research and development. It is expected that it will not be inferior to any fourth-generation fighter in the world, accompanied by the cheap price when mass-produced. The Tejas was developed which sought a replacement for the hundreds of MiG-21 fighters nearing the end of their service lives in the Indian Air Force. The single-engine Tejas has a tailless delta wing configuration and supposedly cost only $25 million per airplane. However, it took decades for the LCA to become together, and it continued to rely heavily on foreign components, including an Israeli Doppler radar and General Electric F404 turbofan engines. Unfortunately, the situation of LCA is similar to many other Indian weapons programs. The evaluation time is too long to make it obsolete as soon as it is officially put into service. Even the Indian Defense Ministry had complained about the light fighter program, claiming it even less than the old man MiG-21 and suggested the government boldly cancel the project. The Tejas life began in the 1980s of the last century when the Indian Air Force asked for a new fighter to replace the Soviet-made MiG-21, which was slowly outdated. The program is designated as light combat aircraft with HAL as the main contractor. According to the original plan, the new Indian aircraft will make its first fly in 1990, going into service in 1995. However, the development process missed all difficulties one after another and lasted much longer than expected. It was not until 1995 that the TD-1 prototype was built. However, problems with the flight control system prevented the prototype from taking off. In 1997, the LCA program had to be redesigned. It was not until 2001 that the TD-1 prototype successfully completed the first fly, 11 years behind schedule. In 2003, the LCA was officially named Tejas. Recently, Indian Hindus Aeronautics Limited has completed procedures to officially begin mass production of Tejas Mark I live fighter jets. Currently, the Indian Air Force is still using many Russian aircraft as well as some British and French fighters. The embarking on the production and upgrading of a fighter jet for themselves is considered an important step forward in the Indian defense industry. Tejas has a tailless compound delta wing configuration with a single dorsal fin. This provides better high alpha performance characteristics than the conventional wing designs. Its wing root leading edge has a swap of 50 degrees. The outer wing leading edge has a swap of 62.5 degrees. And trailing edge has a forward swap of 4 degrees. It integrates technologies such as relaxed static stability fly-by-wire flight control system, multi-mode radar, integrated digital avionics system and composite material structures. 
It is the smallest and lightest in its class of contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. The maximum payload capability of Tejas is 4 tons. All weapons are carried on one or more of seven hard points, three stationed under eight wing and one on the under fuselage center line. An eighth offset station beneath the port side in Taichung can carry a variety of posts like FLIR, IRST, Laser Rangs Fighter, as can the center line under fuselage station and inboard pair subwing stations. Auxiliary fuel tanks can be carried under the fuel slab to extend runs. An area refueling probe on the starboard side of the forward fuel slab can further extend runs and endurance. Rafale's Derby Fire and Forget Missile will serve as the TJAS inertia medium runs air to air armament. The Brahmos NG supersonic cruise missile is being developed for the TJAS. The Indian fighter plane is equipped with a 23mm twin barrel GSS-23 gun, with a burst firing rate of 50 rounds a second and merger velocity of 715 meters a second, is installed in a blister firing under the starboard air intake. Stealth features have been designed into TJAS. Being small provides an inherent degree of visual stealth. The airframe's high uses of composites, a wide inlet which shields the engine compressor face from propelling radar waves, and the application of radar absorbent material coating are intended to minimize its susceptibility to detection and tracking. TJAS uses Martin Baker 16LC00 ejection seat, DRDO integrated an indigenous CSS or canopy severance system in the TJAS, which allows the pilot to eject safety. The original prototype was equipped with the General Electric F404GE F2J3 afterburning turbofan engine. Production versions are fitted with one General Electric F404GE IN20 turbofan engine with full authority digital engine control. This engine provides a drive thrust of 12,100 pounds and up to 20,200 pounds with afterburner. It can fly at a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 to 1.8 and maximum altitude of 15,000 meters. The range of the aircraft is 1,750 km with drop tanks. The Indian Air Force has only ordered 123 TSA jets so far to equip six squadrons by 2024. Her, however, is having difficulty ramping up production from eight aircraft a year to the desired 16. On the short term, Horn seeks to improve the Tiger Smart One by installing an Israeli ELM-2052 active electronically scanned array radar, jumping post, and an area refueling probe. This Tiger Smart One A subvariant will make up the latter two thirds of the Mark One production run. New Delhi is continued to refine the aging Tiger's design with the Mark II version which is set to make its debut in 2025. The new version of the jet will be equipped with the 22,000 pounds thrust class General Electric F414 engine, which was originally developed for the Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet. However, the Indians are attempting to revive the Fair Cavalry indigenous engine that was originally slated to power the Tejas before it became glaringly apparent that it was not up to the task. The jet has attracted the attention of a number of countries such as the United Arab Emirates and the Royal Malaysian Air Force. However, this interest only stay at the level of asking for information related to TJAS for their live fighter aircraft needs. It seems that the exports of this Indian aircraft to the international market will face many challenges, 
not yet discussing quality issues, the weapon packages attached to this aircraft are also a difficult choice. First, a potential customer might be better served to simply purchase a used F-16 or F-A-18, which are far better dressed with a far more attractive package of weapons, and the combat experience has been proven. Video about how Tijas fighters so here. Thank you for watching. If you want me to make a video of your favorite weapon, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you find this video interesting. It's my motivation to make the next videos. Do not forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.